Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the front page. So earlier today, uh, we've been talking about this whole Mayor Filner story. And the story yesterday was that there was a group of people in front of City Hall saying, we support Mayor Filner. And there's this one soundbite from a gentleman who we've had in the studio many times. And it just, it, it's rubbing us the wrong way. I say us, maybe, maybe not you, but I know it's certainly getting me. Me too. Right, let's, let's watch what Enrique Morona said yesterday. Bob Filner is moving the city forward. And by moving the city forward, he's stepping on a lot of toes. And those toes don't like to be stepped on. They want the city to go back to the old boys network. They were looking for opportunity. They saw it. They took it. They're running with it. We're saying we, the silent majority, will be silent no longer. We want Bob to know that we support him. We want him to continue to move the city forward. All right. Well, with that said, uh, we said, hey, we need to talk to Enrique. We thought he was coming in tomorrow. Guess what? He's here right now. Enrique, good morning. Good morning. Who is the silent majority that you are speaking on behalf of? I think the overwhelming majority of the city is uh, tired of the circus-like atmosphere that we've seen the last six weeks. And that's what I'm referring to. We do know there's a large... The, do you think the majority of people in San Diego feel the way you feel and still support Mayor Filner? They, they feel the same way I feel as far as the circus that's been going on, that it's unacceptable, right, it's an but, embarrassment. But do you think... As far as supporting Filner, I, I don't think so. I think that... Um, when, Filner was, when, when Mayor Filner was elected with, with the majority, um, almost immediately he was already cast in a negative light by a lot of people. And we saw the polls two months ago for Mayor Filner, they were at 40%. Now they're a little bit over 20%. So even without the last six weeks, he would have had in, in the 30s. He would have been supported in the 30s. But, but, I don't but, but want to support what has taken place. But Enrique. By saying that the, the, the silent majority will remain silent no longer. Right. And it's almost as if you're saying there's this good old boys network and we should almost forget about what's happened with all these women. Listen, these are credible, professional women. Respected women. Okay. And all of a sudden it's, it's not them whose, you know, their accusations and his behavior have put him in these circumstances, but rather it's this good old boys network who are having their toe stepped on. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that, uh, that Mayor Filner, like the accusers, deserve due process. And the silent majority does not like the way it's been handled the last six weeks. That's what I'm referring to. Do most people in the city still support Mayor Filner? I don't think so. Uh, but the way that it's been handled the last six weeks, this circus-like public execution, is absolutely wrong. It's shameful, and that's not what we're all about. Let me, let me ask you this. Um, this guy has humiliated this city with his behavior. Can we agree on that? I think the way that the, 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 the way that it's been handled has also humiliated this city. Okay, can 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 Mayor Filner really still effectively lead the city and move it forward? Yes. Well, and how, how, is, that how is that possible when he can't even be in the same room alone with a woman? How is Remember, how is he going to be effective? As of right now, they're accusations, and in this uh, country, you're innocent until proven guilty. Fifteen women. Uh, Fifteen women, of which you can dismiss about twelve of them right off the bat, because what he did was in poor taste and not illegal. The other two, three, or two, three cases need to go to court. Only one of them is actually going to court. So it could be 50 women. But, but, but the thing is, these are accusations. Right. Would you leave your wife or your daughter in the same room alone with this man? Yes. You would? Yeah, I've known Bob for 20 years. I've been with him many, many times. So I've a lot of these him. women, though. Right. So and, a lot but, of but, these but, women. And so are the women that spoke yesterday. But, that is, but, they but, also but Enrique, him. that aside, the way he has used the city's credit card recklessly, the, uh, the, the way trip. he has extorted, essentially, money from, from professional people in this town uh, to stop their construction if they don't do what he tells them to do. And this is a lot more than just about the accusations from all these women. You cannot honestly believe that Filner can run this city effectively, given all of the storm that is around this guy. Come on. How, how can you say I cannot honestly believe? Only I can say that. And I do believe it. We have seen people attacked uh, in public office before. Uh, President Obama. President Obama, where the Congress has much lower ratings than Mayor Filner. And yet, he's still moving the country forward. Now, I know people here probably don't agree, but the majority of the country knows that we need to move the country forward, the region forward, the city forward. Let's let these, these issues be handled in a court of law and not in this kangaroo ha, has, court type atmosphere. Let me ask you this. Has Filner lost the trust of the majority of people who voted for him? Uh, I don't know. Well, I, I don't you know that. Just give but me there your is, opinion. Do you I, think I, that he has? My opinion is that I don't know. I know he hasn't lost my trust. I know there's a lot of people that he hasn't lost. And I know there's a lot of people that he has. 
But I'm saying let it be handled in a court of law, not a court of, a, of a, the circus court at type of atmosphere. That is not the way to handle these issues. This is uh, a country and one of the great uh, policies and, and, and historical uh, aspects of this country is that you're innocent until proven guilty. Yeah. We've seen this type of behavior in other places and so forth. It should not be tolerated. I am not going to be an accessory to this kangaroo court. Mm -hmm. All right. You know what? I see uh, Roger Hedgecock's getting ready to join us here in the next segment. Would you mind if Roger stepped in here? Would you have an issue with that? <laughs> not at all. Fellow Roger, come on in. Fellow Roger, Saintsman. come on in here a sec. I, 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 I am, listen, Enrique, we've had a, ni a lot of nice, professional, respectful conversations. Hi, Roger. <laughs> come on in here, Roger. Right. Sit on down. How are you, buddy? Good. What do you think about it? I mean, I'm, I can't believe, listen, I don't want the guy to resign because I think he's great for TV ratings, okay? I'm putting it out there in all seriousness. But can, you <laughs> said today he cannot effectively really lead this city. No. Yet Enrique says he can move the city forward. Well, I know. And, and there's a lot of people on all sides of this. And I respect uh, Enrique's position. My, my position is that since I, I was there, and I was there when I lost the trust of the, of the San, of San Diego voters, and it was, uh, it was straightened out later, and it turned out it wasn't true. But, but at that time... You just could not go forward and go into the city council and make things happen without that bond of trust with the voters behind you. That's where Bob Filner is today. And it has nothing to do with the criminal law. It has nothing to do with, you know, with any of that. What it has to do with is the perception that he simply cannot walk into a room and have people look at him and see, you know, all those women, see uh, Peggy Shannon. I'm sorry. They're, they're not going to be able to deal with him as a political leader. That's what happened with uh, President Clinton. Uh, you know, he had people against him. The, the, the country was against him. Uh, people would be thinking of uh, President Clinton and thinking of Monica Lewinsky. Yet I think he came and, and, and did a pretty good job. I think he finished his term pretty strongly and, in my opinion, one of the greatest presidents of our lifetime. Now, had he been outcasted in this court of public opinion and thrown out of office, who knows what would have happened. But I'm glad that he was able to stay and move the country forward. And that's what I would like to see with Mayor Filner. Will that happen? I don't know. Roger, I don't know. There's, no, there, there's really no parallel uh, to the Clinton situation and the individual issue because it wasn't about sex. It was about whether he lied under oath. And that was the whole Clinton impeachment. This is really very much about bullying and power and things that Democrats should never tolerate. Democrats had made Republicans from Bob Packwood forward uh, really driven out of office immediately for doing stuff like this. Then to stand up and defend a Democrat leader who's supposedly a champion for women's rights when he's been abusing women and bullying men and bullying people in general all his life and apparently recently even more. And, and I don't know, Enrique, you can try to you know, ignore this kind of stuff, but I'm sorry, it's real to too many people in this town. Uh, Enrique, 10 seconds, finish it up. Uh, we've had this type of situation before. We saw Dick Murphy resign. We've seen other people uh, th that have left or been thrown out of office. Let's let Mayor Filner's can, decisions can you stick be around? handled Can you court. stick around for a couple more minutes? A couple more minutes. All right. Don't go anywhere. Uh, Roger Hedgecock is here. Enrique Moronis is here. <laughs> Don't leave because this debate will continue. Roger, Enrique says that it, this is all about the old boys network. What do you think about that comment? Well, I think all the mayors, since I was mayor in the 80s, have been talking about more the communities and the neighborhoods and bringing people together. There's not much of an old boy network there used to be, but there's not much of an old boy network here anymore. What we have is the dominance of the labor unions in City Hall today because of Bob Filner. If moving the city forward means that we don't do contracting out, we don't do effective budgeting, we have a, a labor unions dictating the terms of labor uh, on, on city contracts and paving, uh, paying people more than than the marketplace uh, would allow. This kind of stuff is 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 not moving forward. And by the way, since uh, we, the mayor disappeared about three weeks ago, the city certainly has not been moving forward. There's not been a single thing done in this city. Uh, so we're not moving forward. We're stalled. We're stagnated. We're going nowhere. Yeah, and Enrique, you say, okay, and I don't mean to pile up on you here, uh, but you said yesterday Bob Filner is moving the city forward. We should allow him to move the city forward. Roger says he's clearly not. How do you respond to that? Well, I think that we've been in a stall the last uh, few weeks. You know, he's, he admitted that he's got uh, faults like we all do. He went in for treatment. That's admirable. Let's let him get back to work. Um, uh, Roger and I know each other from a long time ago. We're on different sides of the polit political aisle. Uh, we agree on something and disagree on a lot of things. But I believe that when I talk about Mayor Filner moving the city forward, including people of all communities, not only in talk, but actually walking the walk. I don't know if you know that a couple of days ago, the La Jolla Democratic Club voted 14 to 2 in favor of keeping uh, Mayor Filner uh, in office. So there is a lot of support. We know that the majority of the people in San Diego do not support him. 
But I'm saying the silent majority doesn't want this circus to continue. But here's the question, and this is, if the majority of people polled, and this has all been scientifically studied, if the majority of people say that he can no longer effectively lead, and we, the voters, the overwhelming majority, no longer want this guy in office because he's brought national humiliation to the city of San Diego. He can no longer effectively lead. He can no longer effectively move the city forward, et cetera. If that's the way the majority of people feel, why would you continue to defend this guy? Because he's, uh, he deserves his day in court. He deserves his day in court. When politics change, when situations change, there's people that are no longer popular but they should still be given that, that opportunity to lead. They were elected to that office. If the recall is successful, that is part of the due process. I'm not saying that we should not adhere to it if that's what happens. What I'm saying is that he should be given his day in court. If I do something wrong or if I'm accused of doing something or, or somebody does something to me, I, I handle it judiciously. I don't go to the media and say uh, all these allegations and so on and so forth. It has been a circus, a, a, a kangaroo court. The la that's not what this city is all about. Roger know what it's, knows what it's like to have people uh, uh, attack him and so on and so forth. And then it was too late. You know, he's out of office. And then they, you know, so we don't want that to happen to Mayor Phil. We want Mayor Phil. Roger to said in his letter, too, that it was coming at the cost of the city. And he understood that. And his priority was the city. So he was able to step down. And he felt like that was the best for the people of San Diego. But don't you think it's going to be the cost of the city if he doesn't resign? No, I think what will happen is that will be accessories to this ki kind of, uh, of a public uh, humiliation public lynching, public execution, and I don't want to be any part of that. If it's, if, if these are still allegations, still allegations, only one of them actually was, is being handled through the legal process. Let's see what happens. And I know that there's discussions going on right now. I don't know anything more than anybody else has seen in the media about the discussions that have been going on the last 24 hours. So let's see how that plays out as well. I'm just well, saying that he should not be uh, hung up on a Enrique's on a cruise gotta go get your flight. I don't wanna keep him and I don't wanna be late, but, but what do you think about what he's having to say here? Well, and, and that's a point of view. And, I, and I, I look, the majority point of view is simply the opposite of that. Uh, the majority point of view, frankly, is that this circus could be stopped today if Bob Filner resigned. And that's an important point that I think most people in San Diego take away from this. Yes, it's a circus. I'm tired of hearing Jay Leno talk about San Diego. Uh, it's time for us to get back to business, to move the city forward. This leadership can't do it. That's where I stand. Right. And there's been uh, leaders in the past where the majority have supported the leader, and the leader's been wrong. I don't want to go back to uh, times in the past of world history, but we know that being in, in the majority is not necessarily being an, on the right side of the law, no, the no, correct side it. of the but law. But, but, but in the final analysis, let me ask you this. Why are you still front and center supportive of this guy versus if you wanted to support him and you want to do process, why wouldn't you do what Donna Fry has done, which has gone underground? You're, don't you feel like maybe you're contributing to part of the circus? Because when you think about it, Gloria Allred bringing her whole L.A. celebrity lawyer thing down to San Diego is increasing the circus, but yet you're feeding into it. I'm not feeding into it. That's why we haven't had any rallies. We've had two press conferences. Yeah, a lot of people did show up yesterday. It wasn't a rally. We haven't had, I didn't bring my grandkids on. I didn't have a, a march through the city of San Diego. I've done that in the past. On uh, April 9th of 2006, we had 100,000 people marching for immigration reform. I know how to get people together. That's why we've only held two press conferences. We want to do it uh, appropriately. We don't want to add to this public uh, execution. And uh, every voice should be heard. Now, whether I'm uh, correct or I'm wrong, I don't know. But I'm doing what I've been brought up. And, and, and uh, my, my, my dad taught me to stand by your friends when they're in need, not only when they're being successful. I see that he's in need. Let's see what, what happens with him. And, uh, and, I, and I hope for the best for Mayor Filner, and I hope the best for the city of San Diego and the accusers. Does anybody here make money? In other words, does somebody like yourself get paid by anybody, Democratic Party uh, or, or labor or anybody? Do you get paid to support this guy in any way? No, but I am willing to accept donations. So if somebody wants to <laughs> donate to our cause, <laughs> Roger, you think you want to make a donation <laughs> to his cause? <laughs> a donation, yeah. I, I'm not part time, of any organized group. Every time I'm on with Enrique, it's good because we get a good, good uh, debate going. Uh, I, I think that uh, the, the, the bottom line issue for Bob Filner is this is not a judicial issue. This is not a criminal issue. This is an issue that any of us in our private sector jobs would be thrown out, suspended, we'd be gone because harassing women like this, and I'm sorry, there's a tsunami of women. It's hard mm -hmm. to ignore. Uh, his own policy is not to meet privately now. Lee Burdick won't let him meet privately with women. I, this, this is outrageous conduct, and it has, simply has to come to an end. Right, and, and, and Enrique, um, respectfully, uh, appreciate your uh, your point of view. Know you got to catch a flight. Thank you very much for sticking around. Sure, uh, we're going to talk to Roger about his open letter to Mayor Filner, uh, published in today's paper, page B5 of the local section. We'll have that conversation coming up next. As long as I got my suit and tie, I'm going to leave it all.